Hi, my great learners. Welcome to our today's lesson. My name is Teacher Jonathan, and this is Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. For our lesson today in Grade 4 Mathematics, we will be working on addition involving money in shillings and cents. Addition involving money in shillings and cents. And for us to start, I would like to ask a question. How can you save money? How can you save money? And in our previous lesson, we learned how to save money at home. And we said, if you do not have the home bank account, can you request your parents to make that home bank account or buy for you so that the money that you've been given, you can put there for your future use. Now, with me in our pairs is some number cards. So currently in our pairs, can we observe this number? It is in shilling form. It is 18 shillings and 20 cents. 18 shillings and 20 cents. Remember, we are doing addition. 18 shillings and 20 cents. We are adding it with 12 shillings and 40 cents. 12 shillings and 40 cents. Let me write it on the board. 18 shillings. So I'll do this. Shillings here. And we have cents on this side. So we have 18 shillings and how many cents? 20 cents. We are adding 12 shillings and 40 cents. Learners, in our groups, how do we hide? How do we hide? This is how we hide. Remember, I said as we do addition in everything we start from our right hand we start from our right hand doing our addition and for our case now we will start from the cents then after we had cents now we go to the shillings can we start there now in our groups victoria and your group 20 cents add 40 cents 20 cents add 40 cents remember this is very key we said one shilling is equivalent to 100 cents. Now, 20 shillings plus 40 cents. How many cents do you have? Victoria, what have you gotten in your group? Your group has 60 cents. So where there is cents, write 60. Remember also, alignment of the digits is very key. Alignment of the digits as you do your addition is very key. So here yeah, we have 60. 60 cents. Now we come now to the shilling side. 18 shillings, we had 12 shillings. Remember also, alignment is very key. Alignment is very key. So we start 8 and 2, we are adding, we get 10. So write 0 here and regroup 1 shilling to the other side. So we have, you had 1. So we we'll have 1 plus 1 plus 1. We have three. So 18 shillings and 20 cents plus all we had a 12 shillings and 40 cents, we will get 30 shillings and 60 cents. That is addition of money involving shillings and cents. Involving shillings and cents. That was a, our first example. Again, in our group, can we identify the following number cards also? We have this number card, shillings and cents, 1,101 shillings, 1,101 shillings and 70 cents. We are adding, we are adding 417 shillings and 40 cents. That is our next example, shillings and cents. So we have said we have 1,101 shillings and 70 cents. We are adding 417 shillings and 40 cents. Learners, this is very key. Alignment, alignment. My digits, these are four digits, these are three. Make sure as you start aligning, start from ones, tens as you come this side. Start from ones, tens as you come this side. Alignment, 
remember also when you are doing your addition emphasize on place value chart you can also use your habacus as you do your addition now we are adding 70 cents plus 40 cents now when you had this one and this one will have zero let us try to add it here 70 and 40 we are adding our alignment 0 plus 0 is 0 7 plus 4 when you pick your habacus you try to add it in the place value of once we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 we are adding 4 let us add 1 2 3 these are 10 plus 1 4 so we will have 11 so we will have 11 here and these are cents 110 cents 110 cents remember this is very key one shilling one shilling is equivalent to 100 cents one shilling is equivalent to 100 cents this is very key we are using it so now these are 110 cents what do we do we convert these cents to shillings so when we convert we will have one shilling and ten cents you can take away hundred from this one ten take away hundred because to make it one shilling you take away hundred cents you will remain with ten cents so in the place value of cents we will add we will write ten cents then we carry one or we group one to these other signs of shillings because now we have one shilling here this is a shilling so this one now we will group it to this side so when we regroup it now we come to hard we have one plus one plus seven we have one plus one plus seven we can use this one we have one add another one add seven now one two three four five six seven how many do we have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine here we indicate nine just below seven that is nine we come the other side zero plus one is one remember we are working as a group john and your group one plus four what have you gotten five and the last one is one plus zero you get one and that becomes our answer 1519 and 10 cents 1519 1, shillings and 10 cents becomes our answer that becomes our answer and this is how we had money involving shillings and cents learners remember regrouping is very key alignment is very key now can we try the following task and before we try the following task also this is very key not this one one shilling is equivalent to about a hundred cents now can we try to solve the following task task for us to undertake let us try to solve this task and the task you are working out work out what are you working out number one number one we have shilling here we have shilling and cents how many shillings do we have 27 shillings and 50 cents we are adding 39 shillings and 90 cents number two Number two, we have shilling, we have cents. We are adding how many? 310 shillings and 20 cents. Add, what are you adding? For 114 shillings and 80 cents. That is our example, uh, work number two. Work number three, work number three is shillings and cents had 8,141 shillings and 70 cents 
we are adding 1317 shillings and 70 cents these are our three tasks to work out remember this should not leave your mind when you are dealing with addition of money involving shillings and cents learners remember alignment is very key remember regrouping where possible is very key remember to do more practice at home you can ask your parents your guardians to come up with a many sums involving addition of money in shillings and cents and try to hand them see you in the next lesson